Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is Modern Warfare 2. Huh, what do you know? What's up guys, veteran? We can some Modern Warfare 2. Ooh, it's fancy. Um, this is the first time I've played Modern Warfare 2 since, I think, the day before Halloween was the last time something was saved on my hard drive for Modern Warfare 2. Um, because I ended up getting Black Ops like five days early. So, um, I hadn't played any Modern Warfare 2, and then I picked up uh, Black Ops. But yeah, um, I tried playing the other day, and um, I picked up this gameplay, which was decent. I didn't do, like, the best ever. Obviously, I started off there and terribly. Um, Black Ops is definitely way different. Um, I think playing Black Ops makes you better at Modern Warfare 2, because I'm not saying that I'm um, great at either. Um, I definitely had a higher kill death ratio in Modern Warfare 2 until I started actually just trying to win games, which just makes your kill death ratio go straight down the shooter because um, everyone and their mother is sniping and everyone is noob tubing. So you, if you're trying to cap it, uh, flags and domination, you'll, your kill death ratio is going down. Anyways, so um, I'm running around here with the M16 because I've been playing a lot on Black Ops with the M16. I actually just got. Uh, the golden M16, or I'm like the golden camo, so I'll be putting up a gameplay of that real soon, maybe even today, the same day as this goes up, but, um, actually probably not because it's going to take forever to upload because my computer takes forever. Anyways, um, it's funny because when you put, when you put the holographic site or the red dot on someone in Modern Warfare 2, like, they go down, like, boom, done. Not like Modern War or Black Ops where, like, you know, I made it to sh shoot, like, five bursts, like, Usually, most of the time when I play um, Call of Duty and use like an M16, I really get to the end of my ammo capacity because I either die or, um, yeah, usually I, I die, but like I have to waste so many bullets. Granted, I hit fire on a lot of people. I waste so many bullets that um, I actually make it to the end of my 16 capacity uh, very quickly without scavenger, of course. But So it was good to play Modern Warfare 2 um, and see the... Uh, differences between like you know the hit detection because like I said you put you put it on someone in this game and they're done I I don't snipe but I mean I was hitting some quick scopes yesterday and like that surprised the shit out of me so um, yeah I guess it, I guess it's a little wake-up call to how Black Ops is compared to Modern Warfare 2 but then even though you know I was pumped it um, you know I can take people out with any gun like the F2000 because that was one of my favorite guns because a lot of people didn't use it um, I used F2000 a lot, but knowing that I could actually kill people when they were supposed to die was uh, a pretty good feeling too. Um, I was trying to get a nuke um, a couple times, and I think I got to like 24 kills, like 20 kills in this game or something like that. But um, yeah, I just it's it just wasn't meant with uh, the tubers and the well. This game wasn't all about tubing, but um, I think I mentioned in my last commentary that you start a game and all you hear noob tubes going off, which is I don't know. So I guess this leads into Modern Warfare 3, where uh, this is this is what I think they need to do. I mean, they definitely need to get rid of Second Chance. I think everyone agrees that they need to get rid of Second Chance or Final Stand or whatever, and make sure Death Streaks don't come back. Um, a lot of people are talking about quick scoping and what they think should be in quick scope or how quick scoping should be or sniping. I guess now sniping has just become quick scoping, but I think they need to leave it as it is in Black Ops. Maybe you know make it a little easier to quick scope, I guess, even though I don't want to see that because then it'll just be a whole bunch of 12 year old idiots trying to quick scope. But maybe make it like Call of Duty 4. Um, I mean, I remember near like the end of Call of Duty 4, just before World of War came out and um, before Modern Warfare 2, that a lot of people started sniping with ACOGs and stuff. And it's just really frustrating because, not because I can't do it, but because um, I'm the one shooting like an automatic assault rifle at you or a burst fight, anything, and then you just kind of like look in my direction and tap L and you snipe me. A lot of the times it's not skilled. The people who are really skilled, okay, I'll give that to them. But most other people, when they just get a, yeah, 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 it's, you know, one of those things where you get one or two kills every once in a while and they usually go negative. So you're like, you know, what are you bitching about? Because it's just annoying that um, I should be having higher streaks or, you know, I should be doing better. And then I get killed because of some kid um, puts the sensitivity up to 10 and spins around 30 times and then gets a lucky cross map shot. I don't know. But um, I think um, we learned, we, like when we went into Modern Warfare 2, we went from Call of Duty 4, which was great. Um, we had um, World at War, which wasn't so hot. So everyone's like, oh, you know, it, it doesn't need to be like that. But um, something needs to happen. 
And so Modern Warfare 2 came out, and we were like, oh my god, this is so fast-paced, like, this is awesome, you get so many kills, you can get a nuke. They definitely need to get rid of tactical insertions. They need to slow the pace down just a little bit, because Modern Warfare 2 is a little fast. So slow the pace down a little bit. Um, I don't think they're going to do this, but get rid of shotguns and machine pistols as secondaries, because it just makes it so ridiculous. Um, I've already seen the A12, the Striker, um, and the, the Model 1887, so unless those are primary weapons, which I don't think they will be, I think they'll be secondary weapons again. And there you go. There's an example of how one of my killstreaks gets ruined. Um, but yeah, they need to get rid of those things because the pistols, the secondary is clutch. You know, maybe an RPG or something like that. Like that, that works fine. But um, having shotguns or machine pistols are like having second primary, or yeah, secondary, secondary primaries. Um, what else? So the maps, um, I think maps need to be about the same size, maybe a little bigger. Um, which I think it could open them to maybe do eight on eight, but that's only if they have dedicated servers. And uh, pretty sure they're not having dedicated servers, so um, it's probably just going to be six on six unless you do ground war stuff. Um, and then when it just comes to weapons, um, they just need to have like you know fairly balanced weapons. Who cares if you know everyone bitches the Modern Warfare 2 that every weapon's the same? They're not the same. Um, the UMP is the only one that's like slightly overpowered because you can kill anyone from anywhere with it. But um, you know, the M16, like this is nice that I, you know, I can just like put shots on people and they're done. Same thing, you can put them on the tar. The tar's really strong, but it's got a lot of recoil. Um, ACR has no recoil. They can't, they can't be doing that. They can't be having guns with no recoil. That's just ridiculous. Um, sniper rifles. I personally think they should just get rid of semi auto crappy sniper rifles like the Dragonov and the M21. Like, I don't really see a use for those guns because no one wants to use them. When do you ever really see someone using a Dragonov or something like that? I mean, you, you see people using the assault rifles all the time. Like, maybe not the single shot uh, ones as much, like, you know, the FAL or the, uh, the M14. You may not see them use those as much, but they're at least used. I'm like, you know, I never see anyone using the Dragonov or the, or the WA-2000 unless they're, um, uh, you know, they don't have the L96. I'm talking about Black Ops, unless they have the L96 unlocked or something like that. Or maybe they're playing hardcore. Other than that, they're, they're just, eh, whatever. Um, so maybe they're good for hardcore, I guess. So maybe they'll keep them in for that. Well, they will keep them in, but they're good for hardcore, but that's about it. Um, and other than that, just like I said, no no death streaks, no martyrdom, no second chance. Um, I do think they need to bring back stopping power um, because it's nice that, you know, people don't, um, people can use different perks now rather than everyone using stopping power. But... Stopping power has basically been replaced with Ghost, and that's just doing terrible. I mean, I use Ghost a lot simply because I get into lobbies where like 20 people are using Ghost. Obviously, not 20 people, but you know, more than half the room is using Ghost, and I'm like, whatever, I'm not dealing with this crap because they camp. I don't camp. These people camp in corners, and um, I may camp from time to time, but not like, not like they do. They like religiously camp, I guess, if you want to put it that way, because everyone camps every once in a while. There's um, no denying it, whether you're just trying to get an extra kill or something, but um, everyone can from time to time. But they need to get rid of Ghost, um, and what, what else? They, I don't know, they make, they make some perks, it, it's just it's just hard to follow because in Modern Warfare 2, you know, everyone uses um, stopping power, and so no one uses UAV Jammer, and same thing with like Commando, everyone uses Commando, um, or most people use Commando, so not a lot of people use sit rep, but in Black Ops, everyone either uses Hacker or Marathon. And if you use Marathon, you're better off using, um, you know, something like uh, Flak Jacket so you don't get, you know, killed by Claymores, because I seem to die every time I run by a Claymore with Marathon on. So everyone uses Hacker, so Claymores don't necessarily become ineffective, but they're much more useless than they used to be. And um, so I don't know, the, the things are always going to change. Um, you get rid of one bad thing, another one comes up. But uh, hopefully the severity of um, how bad things may be. Oh, quad feed for that guy. Hopefully the severity is toned down. But anyways, um, I did, came in the game late, finished first, 47 and 11. Um, it's not too bad. Hopefully I'll be maybe putting up a nuke soon or something. Um, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Rate, comment, subscribe. Talk to you soon. Peace.